milieu, and they have to have access to banking inevitably. You know, for a short period of time, they might be able to get by with just credit card processing, but they have to touch banking at some point. Online banking or online payments like PayPal will shut down as well. The only on online payment that's going to be working that I can see would probably be Bitcoin because it's not tied even to any currency. So anyone who doesn't already have a Bitcoin account should go ahead and set one up just as a contingency because we very well might see uh, no way to make online transactions outside of the Bitcoin arena. And then we know what happens. The same thing's happening in Europe. Give the bankers more power. They'll fix things if you sign over everything, if you accept carbon taxes. How long do you expect them to try to bring this country into cardiac arrest until we acquiesce to their financial terrorism? I think they'll push as hard and as fast as they can to try to, to back us into a corner. If, if they try to to threaten us with the same sort of blackmail, really, that uh, Greece and Spain and Italy have been put through with austerity measures, uh, things, could, things could be very, very ugly very quickly. And don't underestimate the ability of American politicians to force uh, through the, the whole mass media uh, to force America into accepting a global currency and into accepting uh, these, what they're going to call austerity measures, but it really is going to be the looting of America that takes place. We're going to see already in Greece, they've been told, well, yes, we can extend you some more loans if you give us all of your gold. Well, they may ask for all the, all the gold that's left in Fort Knox before all is said and done. And by the way, uh, as Ron Paul has pointed out, we really don't know how much gold there really is left in, in Fort Knox.